annoying midges to malaria-carrying mosquitoes. If you're travelling somewhere where biting insects are a problem, then you're going to have to pack some kind of insect repellent. But how do you know which is right for you? Insect repellent tends to fall into two distinct categories, those that contain DEET and those that don't. If you tend to suffer from skin allergies, are a pregnant woman or want to use it on very young children, then you're probably best going for a natural alternative. However, if going somewhere where malaria or viruses such as Zika are very prevalent, most scientists and doctors recommend that you go to DEET. The natural alternative normally contains some kind of a blend of citronella, eucalyptus and a substance made from a pepper plant, which then aims to naturally repel the biting insects. Let's not beat about the bush, especially if there's flies in it. All insect repellents smell, but it's a balance. The deep ones tend to smell stronger, the natural ones tend to smell more pleasant, but you have to weigh up the unpleasant smell with obviously the risk of contracting a very serious disease. Another consideration when it comes to repellent is how it feels when it goes on your skin. Some will spray on quite wet, but dry very quickly, and you might barely notice you're wearing them. Others may come out more of a cream, which will require rubbing in. Again, it's a case of personal preference. All insect repellent will eventually wear off and need to be topped up. It doesn't matter what formula that you use. Um, some of them boast up to eight hours or a day's protection, but that will still need regularly topping up, especially if you're doing something very active and sweating a lot. In the end, it's about risk versus discomfort. DEET is a bit of a nasty product. We've all seen the headlines about it. The good news is that scientists say that using a 30% DEET product can be just as effective as a 50 or even 100% product. And just think, if you're heading somewhere where just being bitten is a bit of an annoyance and there are no nasties you can catch, then you're probably just as well sticking to a natural product and seeing how you go. If, however, the consequence of being bitten could be much more serious, then it's probably worth using something containing DEET for the short term. Whether you go for DEET or no DEET, whether you choose to spray or go with some cream, just remember, the natural world can be an amazing place and don't let the insects get you down. They can actually add to part of a great story when you get back home. Oh.